Welcome to the Easter Vigil. Today's service is a climax of the Triduum, which began on Maundy Thursday. In the early church, Christians would have stayed awake all night, waiting with Christ, kind of like a wake at a funeral. The service today is all about baptism. It's about God's action to save and unite us in Christ. And so our Triduum service actually culminates in a baptism. Today we'll be baptizing Wesley Edelblut. Formerly, the 40 days, 40 days of Lent would have been a time of baptismal preparation for new members who were uh, joining the church. Today, when we baptize Wesley, we'll also affirm our own baptism as a renewal of a, the baptismal promises that we have made with God. Uh, Wesley will be the one being baptized, but we will all be renewing and recommitting our promises with her. This is the Passover of God, when Jesus Christ passed over from death into life, and we pass with him. Through word and light, oil and water, bread and wine, today we proclaim Christ's death and resurrection. We share his triumph over sin and death, and we await Christ's coming again in glory, just as we await the coming of tomorrow. Our service begins with a fire around a pool of light. We wait for the coming dawn, just as uh, humans have waited around fires for the dawn for centuries. We wait, we tell stories, just as we have done for countless generations. The stories we share today are the stories of God's saving work and of God's promise to bring future help. The stories strengthen our trust and our faith as we wait for the light and the safety of God's new day. This vigil is reminiscent of our entire lives. Surrounded by the dangers and fears of the world, we gather huddled around light and warmth and safety, hoping and waiting for God's promised future and the joy of a resurrection. This lighted fire represents the uh, risen Christ, the light of the world, shining in the darkness, which the darkness cannot overcome. We pray a blessing over this fire, and we ask that as we wait, the light of Christ may fill us and shine forth in us, just as the light shines forth from this fire, and that the darkness of sin and death may not overcome us. Even though we can't all be present around this fire, I invite you to join me in blessing this fire and those of us who receive its light and its warmth, even through the distance of cyberspace. Let us pray. Eternal God, in Jesus Christ, you have given the light of life to all the world. Bless this new fire and increase in us a desire to shine forth with the brightness of Christ's rising until we feast at the banquet of eternal light through the Son of Righteousness, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The light of Christ from the fire comes with us into our worship on the Paschal candle. This giant pillar of lighted wax reminds us of the pillar of fire that led the Israelites from slavery into freedom through the Red Sea. Tonight, we dedicate this Paschal candle in the church uh, by inscribing it with the cross, the Alpha and the Omega, and the year, a reminder of how Christ is present with us now and through eternity. Normally, we would follow this candle into the church, the light of Christ lighting our way from darkness into life. What we'll invite you to do today is to light a candle in your own space, the light of Christ with you, to remind you uh, of the risen Christ in your own space. This candle stays lit throughout Easter to remind us of the risen Christ in our midst. And so your candle can stay lit today through the whole vigil to remind you of the presence of Christ with you. We light this candle also at baptisms and at funerals to remember that those commemorations are connections to this singular event of Christ's rising to new life. We inscribe the the candle. Christ yesterday and today. Christ the beginning and the ending. To Christ belongs all time and all ages, 
To Christ belongs all glory and dominion, now and forever. Amen. The light of Christ, rising in glory, dispel the darkness of our hearts and minds. Amen. The light of Christ, thanks be to God. Rejoice now, all heavenly choirs of angels, and celebrate the divine mysteries with exultation. And for the victory of so great a king, sound the trumpet of salvation. Exult also, O earth, enlightened with such radiance, and made brilliant by the splendor of the eternal king. Know that the ancient darkness has been banished from all the world. Be glad also, O Mother Church, clothed with the brightness of such a light, and let this house resound with the triumphant voices of the peoples. It is indeed right and salutary that we should with full devotion of heart and mind and voice praise the invisible God, the Father Almighty, and His only Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who paid for us the debt of Adam to the Eternal Father, and who by his precious blood redeemed us from the bondage to the ancient sin. For this indeed is the paschal feast in which the true lamb is slain, by whose blood the doorpost of the faithful are made holy. This is the night in which in ancient times you delivered our forebears, the children of Israel, from the land of Egypt and led them dry shot through the Red Sea. This is the night in which all who believe in Christ are rescued from evil and the gloom of sin, or renewed in grace and holiness by the rising brightness. This is the night in which, breaking the chains of death, Christ arises from hell in triumph. O night truly blessed, which alone was worthy to know the time and the hour, wherein Christ arose again from hell. O night truly blessed, in which heaven and earth are joined, things human and things divine. We therefore pray to you, O Lord, that he in whose honor this candle burns will continue to vanquish the darkness of this night and faithfully shed light on all the human race. Through the same Lord, Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and rules with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. 